Hey guys, it's Dane down here at Zim's Guitars in Mesa, Arizona. This is what I'm working on today. This guitar has a fresh paint job on it. And we're going to assemble this whole thing. So uh, help me out here. Let's get started. Here we go. Okay, looking at this guitar. Now, this guitar has a story. It has been down here at the shop, and I had it at my house for a long time. But let me take you back to a video I did last year. And uh, the video is called, um, I bought a collection of guitars. Uh, 47 guitars, I think, I bought. This guy from Colorado, who is a regular viewer of the channel, he called me up last year and he said, hey, uh, I want to sell. My wife moved home. Uh, he was married. He was, I think he was, he was separated from his wife. And so he started playing guitars and he started collecting guitars and he had this huge collection of guitars. And then his wife decided to move back home with him. So he had all these guitars that he had to sell. His whole collection, he had to sell them all. <laughs> Women. <laughs> and this guitar was one of those and um in the video he says oh this is the one that i built and so i think kind of what he's talking about building it i think this was maybe some kind of a guitar kit Okay, and it looks like a PRS. I mean, it, it, it's a dead ringer for a PRS, a Paul Reed Smith guitar. It even has the bird inlays and everything. And um, so, but it had a really, really horrible paint job. And in the old video, you can see the paint job that was on it. It was green. It was kind of stained. It was maybe a translucent looking thing. Well, I got a friend who uh, paints cars. And he's like, hey, man, I'm going to paint this guitar for you. I'm going to do it for free. I said, what? He goes, yeah, man, just I want to paint a guitar. You know, I like watching your channel. I want to do this for you. So I said, okay, take it. And so he painted this guitar for me. And uh, he met me at my house. Uh, we became friends. He Instead of dropping it off here to the store, I think he dropped it off at my house because I have a car that I'm also thinking about getting painted. But um, this guitar has been hanging on my wall in my bedroom for, I'm going to say, at least six months. It was, it was probably springtime, March, April, when he finished this paint job on this guitar. And I'm telling you, it is really, really nice. It's already been wet sanded and all buffed out and everything. But it's time to assemble this thing today. So, uh, I have this bag of parts right here, and we're going to assemble this guitar. Hopefully, I still have everything here. Let's dig in and see. Okay, there's an empty baggie. We're off to a good start. Let's see what we got. Okay, this might be a long video. Okay, we got the back plate, we got the control plate, we've got two uh, pickups, wow, and these are DiMarzio pickups. How cool is that? We got a couple of DiMarzios to put in it. So that's nice, they've got everything. I mean, I disassembled this guitar, but it's been so long ago. Wow, this thing's got a Floyd on it. So what does this say on there? Licensed by Floyd, so it's uh, an older one. It's probably a Floyd Rose 1000, I would guess. Maybe a Floyd Rose Special. Uh, it's got the claw. It's got the electronics that are all still here. It's got little push pulls on the electronics. 
Looks like uh, good quality stuff. Here's the output jack. Here's the springs. And the claw and tuners. There's the truss rod cover. Yeah, so I think that this PRS tuners, I think this was a uh, guitar kit. And there's the, the locking nut is right there. So I think this thing should be relatively easy to put together. So let's get started on this. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if I can put this baby all together. What do we start with? Okay, let's run these down in here. So I used to do a lot of videos that were what I called from garbage to glitter because I had a buddy that was painting guitars for me. But that guy has uh, moved into a different house and he doesn't paint anymore like he used to. So now, but now I got this uh, new guy that's doing some painting. But the problem is uh, painting guitars in your garage uh, in the summertime in Arizona is almost impossible to do because of the heat. So, uh, so usually in the summertime, it's in the wintertime when guys are all gung-ho and they're like, hey man, let's do this, let's do that. And then when summertime rolls around, you can't really do any of that. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work here. Gonna ream this out a little bit. It's just a little tight. Okay, so let's just clean these frets, polish these babies up a little bit. First step is with my fretboard guard and a little thousand grit sandpaper. I'm just going to lightly hit these things. And this will just make uh, playability a lot smoother if you do a string band. It'll feel nice and silky. Nice and slinky. This doesn't do anything like level and crown them or anything like that. This is just taking the top layer of dirt, corrosion. That 
Oh, it's kind of nasty looking. So is this one. All the frets up here are pretty rough. Okay, I'm going to shine on these frets a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of polishing, turtle wax polishing compound. And I'm just going to lightly hit these frets. Let's see what we can do here. Nice polished frets is always, always looks so good on a guitar. So that's what that ended up looking like. But now I'm going to do the the old uh, True and Tested Music Nomad F1 oil. Put a lot of this stuff on there, not too much, don't go crazy. And then I'm just going to take a paper towel. Actually, I'm going to take a rag, smear this stuff in. So this will clean and this will help get some of that polishing cloth off of there, that compound, that polishing compound off of there. In my opinion, a clean fretboard is one of the most important things you can do. The nice, clean, polished frets. I spend hours shining up fretboards down here. Okay, I'm going to hit a couple of these fret ends that are a little bit rough. I've got my Stumac fret file. And I put the rounded side down. Okay, that's all that needed. Today's string choice. Today's string choice. Fender 10 gauge. Original 150s. Pure nickel wound. Fender strings. Let's put these babies on here. Pretty sure these are made by Diderio. Oh, these are 19, 2017 Fender Musical Instruments. It's funny how long strings sat around. I just ordered these too. These have only been in my shop for three months, something like that. And straight from Fender, and they say 2017 on the packaging. But they are sealed up in plastic, so that keeps moisture off of them. So let's put these babies on here. Okay, so lots of wiring. I got two brand new push pulls in here. And now I'm just going to hook up the ground wire. So I'm going to snake a wire through here. And I think I'm just going to wire it right here to the back of this potentiometer right here. And then right here to the claw. So let me work on that. I gotta get my soldering iron nice and warmed up again. Because this is next day. So I've worked on this thing for a few days now. Let's see if I can do this. go oh get that out of there okay so the paint job on this thing really turned out good and, you know it's very very hard to paint 
guitars. It's quite a procedure, quite a process. And it's, it's because it's made out of wood, it's a lot more difficult than, honestly, painting a car. There's a lot of guys that paint cars and motorcycles. And then when they get into trying to paint a car, I mean a guitar, it's really a lot of work because one problem is you're painting wood. And with a car, you're painting metal. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more off of here. There we go. Okay, and then this should make a good ground. All right, so I've got that all soldered in there. Now putting the back plate on, it doesn't fit very good because there's a lot of paint and stuff in here. So what I do for something like that is uh, just take a piece of sandpaper and I set it on my table. Let me see if I can get this camera up there. And I just sort of sand the edges of this a little bit. And I could have used a heavier paper. What is this? 320. But hopefully this will take enough of this off of here that it fits back on the guitar again. There we go. I could use a little bit more. I'll keep going for a minute. Okay, so I got this thing tuned to E flat, half step down. Let's just look at the truss rod one more time. Take a look and see how much it has a lot of relief in the neck. So I'm going to snug this truss rod down a little bit more. Okay, there we go. It's turning nicely. Wow, I could hear it inside there. I could hear it crunching around in there. <laughs> that didn't sound good. But it turned... It turned a lot. It looks nice and flat now. It's got a little bit of back bow to it. All right, so I think I just about got this thing finished. Pretty nice. My only critique of the guitar right now is that the bridge doesn't have any radius to the bridge. They're all flat across there. So, um, yeah, that's, well, I guess there's maybe a little bit of a radius to it, but not much. I know that they make little spacers and stuff you can put under these things. Let me go ahead and put this truss rod cover back on. 
and then I'm going to uh, I'll plug it into an amp see what this thing sounds like but first I thought I had it ready to go and then I noticed that I didn't have the strap buttons in there so I've got some Ernie Ball strap buttons and let me go ahead and install a couple of these Let's see now. I don't have have any idea where this goes. They're they're painted over. Huh. I guess I have to redrill those. They are completely painted over. And I don't see any area on here where it went in there. He he really did a good job painting that. I can't see anything there. I can't see anything down here. Maybe it never had any strap buttons put on it. But it definitely needs some. Yeah, but I don't have my drill with me today. So uh, anyhow, we'll have to... We'll have to just plug it in and play it a little bit, and we'll have to forget the fact that we don't have any strap buttons on there just yet. All right, guys, so here it is. My PRS copy. I know this is not a good amp to demo this kind of stuff. It's just the camera mic is on. job on this thing and a customer of mine good friend decided hey buddy I'll paint that thing for you something fun that he ended up doing it turned out really good for paint jobs you know that the average guy can pull off this one really he really pulled this off this has a great paint job on it it is my uh, PRS fun video hope you guys enjoyed it Everybody have a great day. Follow me on all the socials, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>